okay hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new if you are new my name is Kalea and as you guys can tell by the title today I am updating you guys on my life a little bit um, I actually have about 30 minutes to spare on recording this video and I don't even have that much storage on my camera so I do need to talk really quickly because I actually have to be at work in a few but being that I did not vlog all summer I kind of been MIA all summer um, I felt as though I owe it to you guys to let you guys know what's going on because I do have a vlog coming out on Sunday. Today is Thursday. I'm going to try to have this video up by tomorrow if I can. Tomorrow, Saturday, whatever. Um, And I didn't want you guys watching the vlog all lost because it's actually the third week of school right now and to like cut time out of the vlog, I didn't want to tell you guys my schedule and all of that in the midst of the vlog. I just wanted to vlog as if I've been vlogging even though we know I have. So enough of the rambling on, let me get into it. So if you guys are new to my channel, as I've already said, my name is Kalea. Um, I am a junior in college, it's my third year. I'm majoring in mass communications with a concentration in TV, radio, and film production. And I just turned 20 over the summer too. I'm a Leo, August 12th. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys seen all of that. And I did try to vlog for my birthday, y'all, but like I brought my camera to New York. I do have certain clips, but I'm gonna make a separate video entering those clips because long story um but i wound up leaving the charger to my camera in delaware so i went to puerto rico for my birthday and everything couldn't vlog it for y'all but if you guys have me on instagram y'all know i went to the casino it was my first time ever at a casino because i just turned 20 and in the states you have to be 21 to be considered legal to drink casino all that so in puerto rico you don't have to be 18 so i went to the casino and i won 700 dollars my first time at the casino y'all and that was on slots and then i won 50 dollars at the table and in total like what i spent at the casino that night was only 30 dollars i only spent 30 dollars and made 750 dollars like what talk about profit it, but nevertheless I'm kind of I'm gonna try not to be all over the place but let me just say I did not plan this video out so I'm I have no specific order and things I'm going but I do know the things I want to talk about I want to talk about my classes that I'm taking this semester um, I have some news that you guys will find out the first vlog so I'm not gonna mention that just yet but I want to talk about my classes that's that's mainly it for real I don't know we'll see where this video goes all right so I am taking six classes this semester. One is online, but I wanna make sure by the end of the semester I have 90 credits because tech, wait, 90? Wait, no, not 90. But I wanna make sure by the end of this um, semester I have at least 75 credits because you're supposed to really be taking 15 per semester. So 30 each year. So I had 30 my sophomore year and I had 29 or something like that for my I had 30 my freshman year and I had like 29 my sophomore year, something like that because I only have 59 credits right now and technically to be a junior, when you're beginning your junior year, you're supposed to have 60. So I picked up an extra class just so I'm on track. So the online class I'm taking is my introduction to art class, then my five other classes. I have um, micro computer apps. It's I'm going to explain each class after that. Micro computer apps. I have principles of management um digital video production african-american lit to my nails stuck in my hair and concepts of physics so y'all with it being the third week of classes i can give you all the tea on all my classes so my introduction to art class is the online class and it's pretty easy like the whole like every assignment every test that we're gonna need to take is already online it's just up to me to go and do all of it by the deadline and i could do it way before the deadline if i wanted to but i feel like the hard part about online classes is like you're given complete freedom you never meet your professor really so it's nobody telling you like oh yeah remember this is due on Monday this is due so and so it's up to you to actually log in the blackboard and see what you have to do and that's gonna be the struggle for me but I gotta do what I gotta do um so let me tell you guys about my schedule so then the five classes that I'm actually taking in real life like I have to go to class and stuff I said it as though all my classes are on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays so I have no classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays so I have two free days and everybody's like oh you should have did it the other way around made all your classes Tuesday and Thursdays I would have if I could have so I would have had five days off a week like only have classes two days a week have the weekends and those three days to myself especially Fridays but what had happened well another thing that I put into it at my school specifically Monday Wednesdays and Fridays the classes are 50 minutes and the Tuesdays and Thursdays the classes are an hour and 15 or an hour and 10 something like that and the past two years every class I had on Tuesdays and Thursdays go by so slow y'all those 50 minute classes honestly be flying so I was like I'd rather jam-pack my classes my days on those days whatever so on top of me having classes only on monday wednesdays and friday that you're like oh that sounds late you got two days no classes blah 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 but y'all 
my day starts at 10 a.m. and is not over till 6 10 p.m. and my classes are back to back y'all so it's like I don't know if it's a good or bad thing like I have two days where I don't have to go to class but at the same time the days that I do have class I'm literally in class all day so let's break it down Monday Wednesday and Friday I have a 10 an 11 a 12 and a 2 on Mondays and Wednesdays, I have a 4.30 to 6.10, y'all. That is my longest class and that is the most annoying class. So, my 10 a.m. is my Microsoft computer apps class, whatever. Honestly, that class might as well be an online class because when we're in class, we're working on stuff online and it's like, for real, I could have did this in my room for real. But basically, it's like Microsoft Word. They have this little um, access code that you have to buy and they teach you how to use Microsoft Word for real. So it's an easy A, honestly. It's just very tedious and annoying because like Microsoft is something you learn to use in what? Elementary, middle school, whatever. So that's my 10 a.m. class. And at 11 a.m. I have my principles of management class that I want to drop oh so bad. <laughs> like, um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but my freshman year I was minoring in marketing. I was majoring still in math communications, but my, minoring in marketing. I wound up dropping my minor because because my advisor had told me that your minor doesn't come up on your degree. I'm like, so it's really pointless. Like my diploma is gonna say bachelor's of arts in mass communications, whatever, but it's not even gonna mention that I minored in marketing. She was like, it just looks good on your resume. Like you can say you took classes in this field. But then she told me, but for all of that, when I have open electives, I can just take electives in marketing. And I was like, that makes so much sense. Like I'm not gonna put this extra week, because then it's optional. Like last minute I could opt out and say, I don't even want to take classes in this anymore. And I could take an elective in sports or something, whatever. So I dropped that um, minor. But last year, my sophomore year, I did take an elective in business. It was intro to business because in order for me to have taken an elective in marketing, the core class that I needed first was in business. So I took intro to business, did not like it. I think it was my professor. But for whatever reason, I took principles principles of marketing this semester. And I do not like it. Again, it's my professor. Yeah, I'm not here for it. I wanted to drop it, but there's no other classes open for me to take. And like I said, I'm already taking an extra class to catch up in my credit. So I'm not trying to drop a class and be back where I started. But I pray for me with this class, y'all, because I'm just not interested in it interested in it like I thought I would like that's the thing about college like people will really spend two years here and then realize like yo what I'm majoring in isn't even really what I want to do like they don't have eh. like there's been times where I thought about changing my major y'all because like I like kids and stuff so I wanted to even change to an education major but correct me if I'm wrong I'm not sure because I asked around and people are giving me different answers but can you still be a teacher if you didn't major in something with education like you just got to go to grad school of course but like I can major in what I'm majoring in now and then go to grad school for education, would I still be able to be a teacher? Because that might be something I, I look into because I like kids. <laughs> but yeah, there's plenty of times I'm like, is this really what I want to do? Like Another thing you guys probably didn't know, when I first applied to my school, I wasn't even a mass comm major. I was a sports management major, y'all. Got here and understood what sports management was. I was like, this is not what I want to do. So I changed to mass comm. And mass comm has a lot to do with what I'm doing now. Cough, cough, YouTube. So I kept it and it's cool. I like it. But I feel like in the mass comm industry, it's more so who you know. Like your degree wouldn't do as much for you. Like not too long ago, I had to rent a car because my car was in the shop or whatever. And me and my aunt, we went to Hertz and we met somebody that works there. And he's my major, he graduated from my school and all that, but you're working for a car dealership. And he was like, cause MassCom is a very broad major and it's hard to get jobs in it, blah, blah, blah. So again, like to be successful in the TV and entertainment is who you know, not really what you know. But anyways, that's my 11 o'clock class, my principles of management class. Um, at 12, I have my digital vid video production class. And it's like all the classes that are in my majors, I actually like. But when it comes to all these core classes, my business class, physics, African American literature, I do not like none of those classes. So my di digital video production class is pretty cool. We're actually working on a project now. We're making our own um, promo video, not a commercial. She doesn't want us to try to sell anything. It's just promo video. Um, when it's all done, I probably will insert it in one of my blogs or something because it could only be 30 seconds, so it's not gonna be that long. I like that class. Then I have a gap from one to two. My two o'clock class is my African American literature class. The first day of class, it seemed really good, really cool, but now all he does is talk in that class, y'all. Like, literally, we don't, we listen to him talk the entire class time and it's just very boring. Yeah, no. Um, and then my last class is my concepts of physics class. The only thing that's bad with this class is the time. And then, all right, so my school class, class is over at 2.50. So I have a gap from 2.50 all the way till 4.30. And you know, after all my classes, I've been back to back, 10, 11, 12, 2. 
Then I got this whole hour and a half break. It's like, I get tired. I don't want to go to class anymore. But then it's like, I got to go to this 4.30 to 6, 10 class, yo. That's what, an hour and 40 minutes? Like, and then it's physics. So, like, in high school and middle school, I've always been very good at math. And physics basically is math. So, like, don't get me wrong. If I, I, I'm trying. Let me not say if I tried. I have the potential to be very good at it. It's just does not interest me and it's just a very very long class but again gotta do what I gotta do so that's a rundown of my classes another thing I wanted to um, update you guys on is my job so I no longer work where I was working at I still work in that building but I transferred over to a different restaurant they they're open well it's open now they were opening a new restaurant in the casino that I work at and uh, yeah, I work there now. It's an old seafood restaurant. Today is actually my first day, and that's why I kind of got to hurry up with this video. I'm doing pretty good on time, though, but today is actually my first day. They opened on Monday. Today is Thursday, but I had classes at the beginning of the week, so I set my availability up for the end of the week. So I work 4 to 11 today, but the thing that I'm worried about is I was texting some of my, well, I was texting one of my coworkers, and, like, she worked um, every day this week, and every day she was saying that it had been slow. Now, they are very expensive at this particular restaurant. The old restaurant I worked at, it was like a little, like, you can eat it every day because it's not that expensive for real. But this place is expensive, like, expensive. So, yeah, but I'm thinking maybe it's because it's the beginning of the week. Like, you know, a lot of the, and it's been ugly outside. Like, it's been raining and stuff. I'm like, hopefully we'll have more luck at the weekend because she, like, it's been really slow. And what my supervisor did was she scheduled everybody for every day so like it's so many of us there and then for it to be slow so it's like you're not really making any money and listen i don't got time for that right now so we're gonna see how my first day goes you guys will hear about it on the vlog which will be coming out shortly after this video um something else i can update you guys on is my business pretty basic official is still in full effect y'all i'm actually wearing the lashes now i have on the style of mine can you even tell that i have on lashes like yeah these are in the style of mine um I'll mention in the vlog what's been going on, but I definitely do have to get back on with my promoting my stuff. Cause you guys were probably like, what even happened to it? Like, is she still doing it? I am, I just don't promote it um, as much as I used to, but I actually have to go through all of my stuff. I want to have an end of summer sale. I don't even know when the last day of summer is, but like all these shades gotta go. So I'm going to do an end of summer sale for those. I still purchase lashes and things of that nature. Um, so this is pretty much it for everything I felt as though you guys needed to know like in order to watch my vlogs from here on out the things you needed to know to be kept up to date some other things Trinea came back to school if you guys don't remember her from freshman year you guys know how it was four of us it was me Elise my old roommate Aaliyah the one who sometimes would take the vlogs and be like guys we're doing it. she does not go here anymore if you guys missed that vlog like last year she did transfer and then Trinea was the fourth one but Trinea wasn't here at all sophomore year but she is back for good again she came back um what else can i tell you guys like i think you guys know me is here now she was here last semester um and I, i'm just excited for you guys to see this verse vlog because like the main thing that i would have so much to talk about yeah i gotta wait for the vlog to see so if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to my channel turn on your post bell notification so you see so you get that notification on sunday or when i make my big announcement i don't even know what i'm gonna name this vlog yet i haven't even started editing it yet but in the meantime, you guys can follow me on my social media. Well, follow me on Instagram. I don't really use Snapchat like that. I'm not thinking so many ads on Snapchat. I'm like, I don't really use it. But follow me on Instagram at k.shantrees. Chat with me in the comments below, guys. If you guys have any more questions, anything you want to know, because this is just what I felt was important, what I felt to share. But if you guys want to know anything, just leave it in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys on Sunday or in my next video if you're watching this long after it's been posted. Bye, guys.